Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com, and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Pottery Barn telephone. This is known as the Grand Phone, and this is Nancy's telephone from VA. And so basically... Um, she's got a note here and she's talking about when she would talk on it it would start to hang up on her and cut her off and do all kinds of different things and so this is the initial check out of this telephone and we have it connected up so we'll go ahead and give you a listen to it there's some dial tone we'll dial a number and you can hear all that sizzling and crackling. Now we've checked the handset cord and things since this is the initial checkout and that's not the problem. So we're going to be looking at the board, the main PC board in this telephone. So we want to go ahead and unplug the unit and then we want to take the bottom off here and give you a look at the inside of this telephone and we'll just have to go through this telephone and troubleshoot this main PC board and we'll go through that and find out what's going on and then we'll go ahead and repair the phone but these were cool phones um, we see them from time to time and people really like them and uh, they are a cool repo of um, an older style type Art Deco style telephone. And what we want to do is uh, go ahead and take a break from the video and we're going to start our troubleshooting process and then we'll get some video of this telephone as we move along in the repair of it. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. And so what we've done here is troubleshooted the main PC board and went through that and troubleshooted the components. And what we found here was a couple of bad components on the board that was causing problems. So I'll move that one out of the way. Then we have another one here that was leaky also. That was bad. And then the hook switch. Now this style hook switch is never any good. Uh, they wear out and they always cause problems. So what we did here was I did not want to replace the hook switch with the original style hook switch that they put in it because these are never any good and so what we've done here up in the body of the telephone is totally installed a different style hook switch and uh, one that is more reliable and so what we want to do here is some little bit of checks before we put the telephone back together again give you some dial tone and as you can see, it's no longer noisy. I'm just going to press one of the numbers and then let you hear the dial tone's been taken away. And it's totally quiet. So now what we want to do is I want to reach over and hang the telephone up, but yet I want to ring the telephone. I'll let that go two times. Give you some dial tone. And so that's nice and quiet now. So what we want to do is I want to unplug the telephone. Now we have to put our PC board back in and reinstall that. And then we want to uh, put everything back together again and do our final checks. So we're going to take a short break from the video, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. And so we have finished up with this telephone. We're going to kind of go over some of the things that uh, was done to this telephone. So basically, we installed a totally different type of hook switch in this telephone. And as we mentioned earlier in the video, 
the type of hook switch that was in this telephone, they just don't last and they're no good. So we totally went to a different design switch. The other thing was we replaced a couple of components on the main PC board that we found leaky. And there was one last part that we replaced. It's the uh, mic element and so for the transmitter and uh, it was it had problems also. It was also putting noise into the into the line. So we replaced that and got that squared away. And so now we want to do our final check. So we're going to go ahead and ring this telephone and let that go a few times. Let it go one more time. I'm going to give you some dial tone. Now there's a couple of settings on the receive side of this telephone and we have it on the loud setting right now. We're going to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers go by. I'm going to end it at 2. I want to go ahead and hit flash and now redial. That will end in a 2. And now what we want to do is transmit into the handset. So if you watch this red light on the analyzer, every time you see every time you see that red light, that's an indication of 100% modulation. 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6. So we know that it transmits. Now in an earlier part of the video, if you pay attention to that part of it, when we're doing some checks and I have the telephone apart and we go ahead and dial our numbers and there is no longer any dial tone, you'll notice that the light was bright red uh, on the analyzer when the dial tone had been taken away. And so basically what that means is when we put it together we found that the mic was no good also and had to replace that. So if I lift this and give you some dial tone, you see this red light that's on? Now when I hit the 2 and take dial tone away, you'll see this red light go out. And so now that that red light is out, this telephone is working properly. But every time I tap on it, that was what was wrong with the other microphone. It was also putting noise into the analyzer on the line and causing the light to burn bright red. And so that was an indication after we had finished repairing the telephone, we found that the microphone circuit or the mic was bad. And so we replaced that. So now what we want to do is go ahead and take this telephone and plug it into a regular line. And we'll call a time and temp number. Give some dial tone.
This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.